Hey, what's happening guys? It looks nasty outside, but I guarantee it's better than it was yesterday. Echo, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 31 degrees. Yeah, we were all iced up yesterday and last night, but you can see they got the roads pretty clear today. So today, I want to try and answer a couple of questions. The first one is, a uh, viewer asked me, is there any way I can measure power supply ripple without an oscilloscope? The answer is yes. And it's not hard at all. Secondly, a bunch of guys have asked me to hear me play guitar, so there will be a small impromptu 8 a.m. jam at the end of this video. I warn you, I'm not very good, but I don't care. I have fun. So what I've got set up here is simply a little uh, DC power supply. We're using the Variac to output 9 volts AC into this bridge rectifier here. The AC goes into the two center pins. This is the positive on the left, the negative on the right. That output is filtered through this 3300 microfarad capacitor into a 7805 voltage regulator with a 0.22 microfarad cap on the input and a 0.22 microfarad cap on the output and then we're just using this 470 uh, ohm resistor for our load. So, let me do a couple of things here. I'm going to pull out our filter capacitor. There, will give you an idea of the voltage on it. And then I'm simply going to disconnect these two sides of our circuit. So, all that we have now seems to... Lost my jumper. Oh well. All that we have now is the uh, rectifier. So I'm going to flip on the Variac and I'm going to bring in the meter. And we'll put the meter on AC and untangle all the cords. And here so you guys can see it so we're going to look at our incoming right around 9 volts 9.19 and then we switch to DC we can see our outgoing voltage I'm putting about 7.8 volts but here's where you can measure the ripple just go back to AC and you can look at the AC component. Look at that. We are getting 3.78 volts of AC on that uh, output. That's a lot of ripple. That's enough to screw up just about any digital circuit that you're trying to power with this. So, you need to filter it. Now, let's start out with a smaller capacitor. This is... 22 microfarad at 63 volts. Let me get one of these out. All right, so here we go. We will put this into our circuit. And we will measure, again, our output. This is the AC component, our ripple. And you can see our ripple has gone down quite low. We're at 0.003 volt of ripple. So we'll pull that out just to show you once again. I can do it like this as well, just to show you. 3.78 volts. We'll put in the big dog. And one more time, take a look at our AC component. down to 0 .3, 0 0.003 volts. That's almost nothing. That's pretty much flat DC. I'm going to flip this off. And then we will hook up our voltage rectifier side of the circuit. Okay, man. 
Get in there. Power it back up. And now if we measure across our load, there we are at the same. Now we're down to point oh two. And we'll hit our DC, and we should be getting just about a perfect 5 volts out here. Yeah, 5.02. So, we got uh, 20 millivolts over our goal. Not a big deal at all. And if we look over here, on our input side... You can see we've got 11.1 .1 volts going in. So let's uh let's put our smaller filter cap back in. Have another look here. Nine point seven nine. And if I can hold these with one hand, switch over, have a look at our ripple. Now we've got 1.19 volts of ripple going in there with that smaller filter cap. Let's switch them again. So you see how the difference, oh, you can't see that, can you? All right, so there's our large filter cap, 0 0.009 going into the rectifier, or the uh, regulator side of our circuit. Let's put the smaller one back in, because I don't think you guys got to see that. Okay, here we go. The input side of our regulator part of the circuit. Three quarters of a volt of ripple with the small filter cap. Back to the large filter cap. 3300 is probably overkill. 2200 is about where I like to go usually. See the difference that makes? Almost nothing to almost the volt. That's a huge, huge difference. But what you can do with the smaller filter cap is add it after... The regulator, I mean, yeah, we have a small one here, but what we can do is we can put this in parallel. With our load, I need to find a jumper. There we are. So now that uh, small filter cap is in parallel with our load and if we measure our AC component across the load no change and our DC component 5.03 so number one that's gonna that's gonna be a good solid uh, AC to DC 5 volt regulated power supply. You want to put a heat sink on here. This is going to get warm after a time. It's just room temperature now. But after a time it's going to get warm because you know we're dropping about 4 volts through it. So let's uh let's increase our load and see if that makes any difference at all. Vote now. What do you think? Is it going to make a difference increasing our load? This is 470 ohms. Let's bump it up to something juicier. Here's 220K. Circuit power back on. And we'll measure across. Oh, resistance. Resistance, Paul, you big dummy. 5.03. 
AC component the same so no difference we have regulated it very well we filtered it everything is copacetic so simply by putting your meter into the AC mode yes you can measure your power supply ripple so I hope that helped and if you enjoyed this little video please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.